you guys something I want to try out here. Taking a look at old vanilla World of Warcraft stuff compared to live stuff. And maybe some little secrets here and there. Here in the upper left hand corner we have vanilla wilds, bed mines, and on the lower right, live vanilla wild running into the den mines. So we'll just look at them. You see the details a little more crisp on the live version, but that could just be because, you know, the graphic engine got updated a little bit here and there. But a big difference we're seeing is on live we have a lot of refugees. Whereas on the vanilla one, all these NPCs here were red. But I remember running down here, my first time ever doing Dead Mines, so that was the first dungeon you would do as an Alliance player back in the day. And not knowing anything. And people said, just come to Dead Mines, it's over here. And he gave me directions, and I would run down there and I would just die over and over again. And I get lost because look at this place, it's a maze. Now that we're loaded into the dead mines, first thing you'll see here on vanilla, these guys will attack you right off the bat. On live, it's a nice happy little safe place. It's your safe zone for this dungeon. Then you start seeing the differences. Vanilla, we have humanoids, nothing trying to blow us up. And on live, we have cobalts and ogres. Cannons. A lot of nasty happening. Let me get up to the first boss. Vanilla. It was just one ogre with an axe. Live. Axe. Man, eh, mallet. Live. Two headed spell casting ogre with some special effects happening. The doorway opens up and we're meted by humans on the vanilla side and monkeys and gobbles on the live side. Coming over here, there used to be a NPC with a rare drop for a shield, I believe it was. The live, I don't believe he's there anymore. But now when we get in this room, we got goblins live. We have, I don't know what the heck those things are. You got goblins sitting on top of those things. But on vanilla, you had a sh mecha shredder. It's epic. And once you kill him, you go through these doors. Now we got goblins and humans on one side. And on, you know, on one side, being the vanilla, we got more humans on the live. Get through this door. Live, we have goblins running, trying to save themselves. But no, not so much. It's more calm, more collected. Humans. Live right now, we kill a couple machines. It could be a big machine. On vanilla, we kill some goblins. The big goblin here, he had to kill. After killing the respective goblin or machine, next door, we go through more humans. Now on vanilla, you had to go get gunpowder at this keg up here. Whereas in live, it's not there anymore. You go down and you see this big cannon. On vanilla, you had a little cast time to shoot it. Whereas on live right now, it, it instantly shoots. 
Now here's a big different change. For now, it's just walking through, killing stuff on live. You gotta avoid being hit by cannons. So you'll see in the video, I get tapped by one and I get knocked back a little bit. So we know on, on Vanilla, we have an extra boss down here, I, I, I think. Nice torn. Whereas on live, we don't have that. Now on Vanilla, you had to kill another goblin walking around some bodyguards, whereas on Live, first thing I kill is a wolf. No war games still. Vanilla, you kill Van Cleave. On Live, after you kill the war you wait for Cookie to show up. You kill Cookie. And GG. But on Vanilla, you jump down with the boat, and there's Cookie right there. You kill him there. So now, if you're still with me, let's take a look at a little surprise. I'll save it at the end of the video. Let's take a look at what this ship area looks like in vanilla from above. You will have to excuse because it'll be looping here, but just looking at it, it's a pretty small thing. And it's kind of bland and the blue tint around everything, that's just the way view distance was back in vanilla. I have everything maxed out for this recording. And that's just the way it looked. How about we look? Let's take a look at what it looks like from live from this high up. Now, before you go try reporting me for fly hacking or anything like that, no. I took this screenshot on a own server I have for recurring, recording purposes only. And we can see much more detail. But again, we also don't have all the blue fog because better engine, better graphic options to set. And the ship, while it's, it's really not, it looks a little bit bigger, but that's just because it looks more detailed, though. You got more stuff happening off the side with the cannons. What if I show you one more thing? Something we've all seen before. But let's look at it from Vanilla's perspective and then from some alive perspective. Again, looping it, but you can get to this alive. I'm not going to tell you how to get to it alive. There's other videos for that. And again, this isn't something new. I didn't find this, but this lovely area. And this is right now we're looking at the Vanilla version. Speculations out the wazoo what this is going to be, but at the end of the day, it was a little dev play area for what stuff can do, what the engine can do. And we got this here, but what amazes me is coming up with the screenshot from a live version, quote unquote. Now, here we have a screenshot I took that's more live than what Vanilla was. But here, everything is so much prettier. It has more light happening. It's not all foggy. And I think stuff's more detailed. And I'll give a side-by-side -side comparison for you to decide. But I hope you enjoyed. 
hope you enjoyed the, the trip down memory lane.